So here we are at SHOT Show 2016, Long Range Shooters of Utah. We stopped by to see our buddy Drew, who's now uh, famous. Look at this. Oh, it changed. He's on all the uh, billboards and things now. Drew, tell us about this new SHV we have here. So this is an SHV Terrestrum, like a lot of our other second point outfits. Uh, the big difference here is it's a personal touching. So it's a 4 to 15 by 15 front switch length. Um, fast focus eyepiece like the others, an independent zoom ring. Side parallax that focuses down to 25 yards at max power. These all are coming illuminated to help you see the reticles as the lowest magnifications. Another big external difference is instead of capped elevation, it's got an exposed zero set elevation. Tell us about the zero set. So it's a simpler mechanical feature that offers a return to zero capability uh, for a lower cost. So it's pretty easy to use. It's just like main X and back to zero. Very good. Easy to set? Yes, very easy. Just loosen the screws up and turn it back on. Very good. Now, the mill version comes with five mils per rev. The MOA version comes with ten minutes per rev. Okay, five mils per rev and ten minutes per rev. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And uh, a year ago, you swore they wouldn't have a mill version of SHV, and I'm wrong. We're happy that you're wrong. Yeah. A lot of our guys love the mills for our 22 match. So I already asked him. I know the question on everybody's mind is, are they going to do the five to 25? And he said. The official answer is we have no plans to release one yet. No Obviously plans. Change things, and they don't tell me everything before it happens. So let's hope that you're wrong yeah. again. Who knows what the future holds? But what I do know is we love customer feedback. If you have some feedback, send it to us. Tell our customer service office, and we'd be glad to keep that in mind if we consider new designs. Very good. Now tell me about the glass in this compared to your other models. Sure. Um, essentially, it's standard multi-coated glass. Um, some people say they can see a difference between our NXS and our SHV. Most folks can't because they're that close. Um, I wouldn't worry about decide, trying to decide based on uh, glass clarity because they're going to resolve very, very well and perform very well. Do everything you want it to do. Okay. Where we're saving our money and your money in the design here is with simpler to manufacture features that help us get out more scopes and fewer options. They give us just what we need, not several things that we need. Gotcha. Yeah, these have become extremely popular with our 22 Marksman Challenge shooters, but mostly in the 5-25 because we're shooting little tiny stuff like matchsticks and playing cards, things like that. So you might find some will use this, though. The F1 would definitely be helpful for sure in some of those uh, different stages we run. So, yeah, very cool. Well, thank you, Drew. Yes, Appreciate it. All right, so there's our Millar reticle. This is in the, is it 4 to 14? Yeah. SHV? Yeah, that's, it's right about on 8 power now. So it's 8 power. Can you zoom it in there? So we can get her to focus. There's 14. You can put your hand out in front of it. There we go. It's kind of picking it up. It's struggling a little bit. There we go. Very cool. And that's got different powers of illumination, correct? Yeah, 11 intensity settings. Very good.